let's try to understand the data location into the sortie smart contract so we have three different type of data location one is storage other one is memory and the third one we have is the call data so when it's come to the storage storage the data we're going to define in the storage that data is going to be stored on the blockchain the data you will define in the memory that data will exist exist in the functions and the data you will define as a call data that data is going to be an argument so let's follow the general convention we have to define the pragma solidity version let's create a contract and we're going to call it data location and that we're going to define our array it's going to be a ung type public array and we're going to define a mapping address and we can simply define a struct in that struct we're going to take a unt is going to be a boo foo sorry and here we're going to define another mapping which will take the, our struct and then we have to define the struct so that's the pretty simple thing hope this makes sense to all of you guys eh? now here we can come and create a function we'll call f and in that we're going to call another function which we're going to call internally so let's create a, this function so we're going to call it so let's do something with the state variable first and this data the data state variable we're going to define this data is going to be stored on the blockchain so this is the function we're going to create dash f and in that we have to pass array the array and the mapping and the struct the first struct hope this makes sense to all of you nothing complicated very simple and here we have to do something so get the struct from a mapping so to get that what we have to do is to call the struct and we're going to call it storage because we are creating a memory we are creating a copy of the data we have defined as a state variable and that's how we can do it we'll call it my struct and we have to access the struct one because we want to access the first element we're going to simply create a struct in a memory so we are getting a copy and then we are creating into a memory so let's come here we're going to call map so now we are declaring the struct in the memory so we have to use the memory keyword and here we're going to call our struct my struct and we have to say my struct zero first one we'll close that one let's come here let's create another function which is going to run internally and in that we have to pass all the variables array mapping and my struct one if we come here here we're going to define the unt storage array we have to define the mappings address storage and this one is going to be the storage my storage it's going to be simple internal function and here you can type whatever you want to do hope this makes sense to all of you guys that these are the variable we're going to pass into this internal function and our f function will execute so we'll check let's write the other function we'll create a you can return memory variables so that's how we can do it very easily let's come and create a function we'll call it g and that we're going to pass this argument entire array memory array because this is what we want to return we have to reuse this return and here we want to return the entire array we have defined and that's why we are giving this unt type and the memory because we want to return the data in the memory and we want to do something with the data we don't want to store on the blockchain but we want to use that data to perform certain tasks into the smart contract and that's a very common practice when you will work in the real smart contract you'll create a day copy of the entire storage data and you can perform certain function and you can simply execute it so that looks fine to me let's come here we can do something with memory array so that's pretty simple now let's talk about the call data so let's create a function which h and that we're going to pass this call data array and we can say external and in in that we want to do something so i do something with call data array and that's pretty much so this is how you can define the data the call data memory and storage storage is very important because when you will write the smart contract you have to be very precise that what data you want to store on the blockchain because every single data is worth almost ether so you have to be very calculated that how much ether you are paying for deploying the contract so you can learn about the memory that you can create copy and you can do performance certain tasks using that array you can use the do the same thing with the call data but storage is an important concept right now if it sounds confusing don't need to worry about it because when we write the smart contract when we build the applications like nft marketplace which we have already built you can refer to that project and you can see that how we have defined the memory data for performing and calculating the who are the user that created the nft so those kind of logic we have built into the smart contract 
so this is the contract for the data location you can see we have all the variables so this is the first function f function in that we are calling this foo passing this data then we have the other function this one will run for the call this one is for the memory and this one we have for the storage variable so if you come and if you deploy the contract and if you check you will have all this access if you do anything like this it's when successful but you can't return any data right now because we have not built any logic we have built that you can do something with that data you can do something with the data so this is how it's work that's the only thing you have to keep in mind about the data location in the salty smart contract this is not that important but when you will write the smart contract the storage is very important that when you have to storage when is when you have to use the memory the only thing you have to remember that storage will store the data on the blockchain and you create a memory because when you want to take the data into the function not storing on the blockchain but you want to use it internally in the function to perform certain calculation that's the only thing you have to keep in mind hope this makes sense if you have still any confusion and down to leave in the comment section i'll try to help you in that with that let's move to the next video